<laughs> Hello. Yesterday I picked lots of beans, lots of runner beans to use as uh, seeds for next year so I can dry them out and they'll be ready to plant into the ground in early June. These are what I'm going to save to plant next year and all of these are going to get cooked and frozen. So that just feels a bit like a bonus crop because I really wasn't expecting to have that many kidney beans from the, the uh, pods that I'd left to go to seed. Now this morning I am trying to do something with the fencing that separates the duck enclosure and the food forest and although they kind of merge into each other in one way I also need to have some sort of barrier that separates the two and up to now we've been using flexible poultry netting but it's not ideal and during the lockdown period when we have to keep our birds under cover attaching netting to the top of the flexible netting uh, becomes really difficult so I want a more solid edge uh, that I can fix the netting to uh, for the winter months. So I've started out by seeing if I can do something with pallet collars and creating a wall that I can plant in. And next I'm going to see if I add a few of the very long pallets into the mix whether that will work as well. And I've put the first panel in place I don't know what I think, it's so different from what we've had previously. There's one going at this angle uh, which helps give it a bit of stability uh, because the prevailing wind comes this way. Uh, so I've got one along there and I've got the box down there which will also provide a bit of support. And I'm thinking if I do the same thing going along, so one along there and one coming out with a box in the corner, that might look quite nice. Oh, I see we've got a visitor this morning. Good morning, Thimble. Hello, my lovely. Hello, boy. And this very, very splendid chap. Hello, chappy. He belongs to next door. Don't you, darling? Yes, you do. Ah, well, I can see why he's up here and why he keeps looking around. <laughs> Monty's there. Well, that's the second one. Uh, put into place and it's cross supports and I, I don't know what I think of this actually I think I'm gonna have to live with it for a little while and see what I think of it it, it just feels like a, it feels a bit odd and it all looks a bit new but the uh, wood will weather down quite quickly uh, as all the other uh, shiny new palettes have done and it will soften instead of being that uh, bright orangey yellow color it will mellow like that and then it will go grey and just blend in. Uh, but I'm really not sure. I'm going to carry on and, uh, and then I'll make some decisions in the next few days. And there's the next piece put on. I like these eight foot pallets because they do such a long chunk at a time and it, and it just feels like uh, a fence grows very quickly. Now between the end of this pallet and the gate I think I'm gonna to have to put a single pallet in because behind that gate is our access point unless I build a, a gateway here and then I could have a pallet behind the gate there and have a gate going through into the duck enclosure there. Oh I'll have to think about that. I don't think I'm gonna get any further with this today. I've put these three boxes uh, along this section and then I realized that uh, I could I could I could cut down the center line on the ends of each box and then and then open them out and just have one continuous long bed along there which might look really nice with um, some annuals and some herbs planted in it it's a thought but I'm going to leave that for today and uh, crack on with some other jobs and then a little bit later on my friend Jane is coming to stay and uh, Jane is my gardening friend and uh, I have absolutely no doubt that we will spend some time in the garden on this again glorious October day. I've started to clear away the uh, squash plants that were in 
this area of the garden and uh, piled them all up. Now these plants have both had powdery mildew and so I'm not tempted to put all of this onto the compost heap because all that's going to happen is all those powdery mildew spores will sit dormantly in the compost heap and wait until the conditions are right and, uh, and then spring to life again. So I'm probably going to bag this and take it to our local recycling facility. But as I was uh, gathering those together, I made a fabulous discovery. Uh, there are two reasonably sized uh, jumbo pink banana squashes that I hadn't even realised were growing and uh, bonus. So these are not, you know, they're not huge, but actually they're really not a bad size at all. And uh, this one, uh, because of its colouring and I'm, it's a little bit, a little bit soft. I think we'll eat this one for supper tonight. And this one, I suspect I will also, I'll cook this uh, and uh, pull out the flesh and, uh, and freeze that. So that was a nice bonus. Really not what I was expecting to find at all. I was just expecting to find little tiddly ones. Uh, no, not a decent sized squash at all. So that's all good. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you're doing today, I hope it's a good one for you. And I also hope you can join me again tomorrow.